Welcome back then, you FM legends. And here we are, we're back at it with We Are Como. What a great first season we've had. We got promotion, we're in Serie A. And for those of you that didn't watch to the end, I've just thought I'd recap on this bit. The reason why the chairman stopped putting money into the club and we started losing so much money was because he was retiring and we've been bought out by Swiss investor Marcus Amrine. He's bought us out, put £5 million into the transfer kitty and £50 million quid into the club. Gives us something to build on this year and see if we can put together a nice little squad to keep us in Serie A. Before we jump into Season 2 and see how we've started with that, I'd like to just thank everybody who has been watching, who has been subscribing to my channel as well. This is a new channel, I'm really enjoying it. We've now hit 200 subscribers, so thank you so much to everyone who's subscribed so far. And if you can keep liking, keep subscribing everyone and help me grow my channel, that would be much appreciated. Thank you very much. So as we've got a bit of money in the bank now, the first thing I've done is asked the club if they would invest and upgrade the youth facilities and the training facilities and they've been happy to do that so that's underway the media prediction this year they've got us to finish 20th I've made some signings so let's have a quick look at those so the first one on the list is Alberto Seri but well, he was already coming in and that was done last year that's 2.2 million that hasn't come out of my budget though that was already done our first signing was centre back David Battaglia he's cost us 1.4 million pounds and is a great addition to the team, much improved from what we had. Edouard Mitchell, he's coming from Paris Saint-Germain, £1.2 million. Pounds. I'm trying to convert him to play in that right midfielder role for us. Pablo Ramon, he's coming from Real Madrid, £55,000, absolute bargain. Only 22 years old and I'm going to look to play him at right back. Roberto Piccoli, he's coming as our main striker, on loan, £1 million. Pound. For that loan deal we've got an option to buy him as well but we won't be taking that because his contract's going to run out so we'll look to get him on a free basically at the end of the season if we like him Tariq Bookman on loan from Bayern Munich he's cost us 675,000 as part of that deal and we can buy him for 3.5 million pounds this lad looks really good 18 years old six foot three definitely one for the future really like this lad another bargain Italian Alessandro Cortinovis, he's come in from Atalanta, I think it was. Yeah, 81 grand, absolute bargain. Moises Ramirez, coming from Colombia. I've bought him for 500,000. He's our new goalkeeper. Doesn't have the best handling or kicking, but he's just really good in the air. Good at one-on-ones, good reflexes, athletic. Nicola Armini coming on a free transfer, can play everywhere across the back. Not sure if he's going to start for us, but love his versatility. Another Italian, Leonardo Cernicola. Really like this lad. Probably going to use him as a left back though. Inverted. Think he'll do a good job for us. 26 years old, six foot two. Dennis Jenga bought him for the right hand side. Signed him before on previous saves. Really like this lad. 2.4 million pounds. Only 19 years old. Perfectionist mentality. Definitely one for the future. Really like him. Egon Sadiku. 20 years old, six foot going to mainly use him as a shadow striker £800,000 and he looks like he's going to be very very good for us as well Hanno Abasengo he's come in from Bristol City cost me £1.1 £1 .1 million but he's going to be our backup to Aup in the midfield sitting there for us only 22 years old and I think for £1.1 that's a good deal and my last deal was to bring in Gabriel Piera on a free transfer Brazilian player Good versatility, but mainly use him as a shadow striker. 22 years old, not much wages either, only on 20 grand. So if it doesn't work out, we're not too bothered. But on a free transfer, worth a gamble. So that's £11.5 million spent, and we've made 6.75 in sales. A young lad's gone out on loan. Patrick Catrone has left. He wasn't going to play for us. Contract running out. We've only got 180k, but it was on big wages, so he's gone. Paolo Farago, who was decent for us, I'll quickly show you him, he was decent for us, but at 30 years old, when I was offered £3.3 .3 million, pounds, I thought that was worth taking. Belemo never played for us really, 100 grand for him, he now wasn't great either, he was like our backup left back, managed to get £1.3 million pounds for him. Gatto's gone out on loan, Sol Baselli, he's gone for 500000 to Real Zaragoza, 
Liam Kerrigan's gone out on loan. Cesc Fabregas has gone out on loan. Don't think he's good enough for us in the Serie A, but he's gone to back to Spain, and we've got they're paying his wages, and we've got sixty-one grand for him. Theo Zidane, who we bought last year, I just thought he's going to start moaning he, because he wanted to play more first-team football and he never really got going for us. We bought him for 275000 and I've sold him for £1.2 million and he's gone to Malaga in Spain. So that concludes the transfers so far this season. Let's have a quick look at the fixtures. And here's how we've started in pre-season then. Pretty good. Won our first game 2-0. Then we won 5-1. 2-2 with Empoli. 2-0 against Palmeiro. 4-1 against Spezia. 4-1 again against Monza. And we've won our opening first round tie in the Coppa Italia. And that was a tough game because we were absolutely garbage. And yeah, Vicenzia, who were in like Serie C or something, were 2-0 up against us. We were awful. But late goals in the 86th minute and then 90 plus three minutes for Alberto Seri, and then Cortanovis got the winner in extra time for us right at the death in the 120th minute. But anyway, that's got us through to the next round, and it's been a positive start to the season. Mixed, but we're in a good position. I think we're currently sitting ninth in the league, and here are the fixtures. Look, we, we did draw 0-0, which I was a bit disappointed about because we played really well and dominated that game, but we'd beaten and fallen in a friendly, and that was a 0-0. Then one all at Udinese. 3 1 against Fossione, who came up with us. Then we got a few more draws. Took our first loss of the season 3 0 to Juventus, which is understandable. They're a very good side. But then we bounced back against Verona and lost to Atalanta 1 0. Very late goal from them. And as you can see, we've done really well. And when we've got beaten, other than the 3 0 thumping we got against Juventus, We've only lost 1-0 and then 2-0 at Lazio. So we've been very competitive in every game and I can see things starting to click. And that's what's positive for me because the amount of signs we've made, it's going to take time for these lads to sync with each other. But that's a great start. And there we are sitting in ninth in the table and we're only one point off fifth. So you can see how close it is. A brilliant start. And as we just hit January, we've got some good news. The club were happy with how we were getting on. And the chairman's given us a few more funds. He's given us £9.5 million into our transfer kitty. So I'm going to look at getting a striker. And I did spend that money on a striker. I bought in Louis Appender. 23 years old. He's cost us 7.75. Lots of pace. Different to our Piccoli, who we've got. He's big six foot three striker. Very different. So we can mix things up with these two strikers. And if needs be, either bring the pace on or switch him out and bring on the big man and um, gives us a good different dimension to use. So that was January out of the way and we've just gone into February now, we're on February the 11th and we're still up there doing really well. We were ninth when we last looked and we're now 8th. We've only climbed one position but look how tight it is in all of those positions and we're just outside those European places I think we're in absolutely no danger of getting relegated we play really good football and we have a lot of possession against even the teams at the top we are doing very well we do have the two bad lads of the league low Aopadin and Betelia love a yellow card they get stuck in I don't mind that though because we need to rough teams up a bit we're very good in possession but we are very aggressive when we lose the ball and try and get it back it does result in quite a few suspensions due to the amount of yellow cards we receive but we need to just take that on the chin I think and it was also looking positive in the Coppa Italia because we got a 3-2 win against Brescia and then we also knocked out AC Milan, who are top of the league at this point. And we beat them 2-1 and knocked them out. And we're now in the quarterfinals against Napoli. And with five games to go, it was looking even better. We're now sitting in sixth in the table. This form just hasn't dropped off. If anything, it's getting better. We're doing so well. And we've really have started to kick on. A lot of these players are really starting to bed into this team. So we scored 48, conceded 32 and a goal difference of plus 16. We've only lost eight games this season, which is very good, considering it's our first year in Serie A. That's against AC Milan, 1-0 against Caligari, 2-0 against Spezia, 2-0 against Lazio, 1-0 against Fiorentina, 1-0 again against Caligari, 1-0 to Atalanta, 
and our 3-0 loss against Juventus. We've picked up those 10 draws, which a lot of them have been against big teams like Juventus and Napoli, Roma, AC Milan, doing really well there. And then we've picked up 15 wins. We also managed to get through that quarterfinal tie away at Napoli, with Sadiku picking up two goals for us, and that took us through 2-1, where we would face in at Milan. And unfortunately, that hasn't gone to plan. It is over two legs, but we've taken a pretty hard loss as uh, we've lost 3-0 there to Inter Milan away, which makes getting to the final pretty much impossible. But what a fantastic achievement for our first year in Serie A and also having a great cup run and getting to the semi-final. And our last five games in Serie A is against Lazio, Inter Milan, Torino, Salernitana and our final game of the season away at Napoli. And we're going into the final game of the season unbeaten in quite a lot of games. I think it's about 10-11 games now we've not lost. We did draw in our second leg against Inter Milan and that unfortunately saw us go out on goal difference but did ourselves proud. We then beat Lazio at home 2-1. Spendi and Louis Appender with the goals. We beat Inter Milan 2-1 at the San Siro which is a fantastic achievement. Spendi again on the goals and Tarek Buchmann with a bullet header. This was a really weird game because we had the Kuna sent off after six minutes and I was dreading it because we were in those European places. We're still doing really well. I thought, oh no, don't lose it now. But luckily on 22 minutes, they got a man sent off as well and then made it even. We managed to just continue to dictate the game and Aiden and Sidiku with the goals to win that 2-0 for us. And then our last game at Hull to Salernitana, we were just very, very poor in the first half. We went in 1-0 down. Well, we sorted out in the second half and Roberto Piccoli grabbed the goal for us in the 73rd minute to grab the point. That leaves us then for our final game of the season against Napoli. But let's have a quick look at that table. So there we are then. In sixth, we have secured European football in our first season in the top flight in Italy. Battaglia and Aiden are still the bad lads of the league on 17 yellow cards each. We don't have anyone in the top goal scorers or in the highest average ratings, but as a team, we have been fantastic this year. So in the final game of the season against Napoli, we do have three players out. We've got Battaglia out through suspension, too many yellow cards. Aiden out on suspension, too many yellow cards. And our right back, Pablo Ramon, is also out, but that's through injury. So coming into the starting lineup will be Basengo, who will come in for Aiden. Vignalia will come in at right back and Amini will cover for Battaglia at centre half. Louis Appender's come in, done quite well for us. He's scored nine goals. We've got Piccoli, who's had seven for us this year. Sadiku's got 12. Seven from Spendi. Six from Alex Blanco. And then Serencola's got four. Bookman's got three. And Cortinovis has got four. Takun has got three. Pablo Ramon has also got three. From right back, and Aiden's picked up a couple for us as well. So no one really scoring an outrageous amount of goals, but quite a few being chipped in from all over the place, really. So here we are then, final game of the season. Let's hope we can see this off with a big three points. Buckman heads clear. It's Alex Blanco. He's going to charge forward. Going down the right-hand side. Cuts back on his left. Puts the ball in the box and Spendi's up. And he heads that just over the bar. It's a free kick now for Napoli. Zelinski. He takes free kick and hits the bar. We've headed clear. Elmas has got it. Kim in Goes wide to Zelinski. Malassia takes a shot and hits the side netting. Vignali with the throw. Jenga. Masengo. Sadiku. Loses it, but Masengo sweeps up. Serincola clips one over. And Kim Min Jae heads that back to Alex Merritt. Merritt goes long. Bouncing, but Bunkman sorts that out. Serincola knocks it down to Masengo. Finds a great ball into Sudoku's feet. But that's been cleared. But we've retained possession very well. Masengo. Serencoli. Great through ball. Sadiku. 
we play beautiful football here at Como. You can just hear those fans singing, We are Como. We are Como. Absolutely fantastic. Look at this. This is against Napoli as well. I know Muggs had a lovely football from the lads. That's 1 0 Como. Ramirez has cleaned that up and got the ball. Armini. Cerny Cola. Blanco. Sadiku. Jenga. Finds Alex Blanco. Great through ball again. Sadiku. Great shot. And corner ball. Corner's coming by Jenga. Headed clear. And that's half time then. We've had six shots, three on target. We've had the better of the XG. Napoli have had the better of possession. But our pass completion has been pretty good at 88%. Let's hope we can just continue this. Jenga looks to be struggling a bit. Got a bit of a knock. And Louis Appender seems to have had a quiet one. And we kick off. Spendi. Armini. Sonny Cola. Out wide to Alex Blanco. Sonny Cola now. Keeps the ball. Goes back to Armini. Spendi's found some space in the pocket. Fignali has had his pocket picked though by Malassia. Charges forward. Kravitz Skellia. Need to stop him. And we have done. Vignali does really well to get back. Ramirez is very quick off his line. Elmas. Buckman's tidied that up. Playing it well round the back there. Through the press. And we look to switch player now. Spendi's got the ball. Down the line to Alex Blanco. Keeps possession to Sonny Cola. Sonny Cola with a through ball. Louis Appender's in and absolutely skies it over the bar. Great chance for Como. Malassia. Kim Min Jae. Back to Malassia. Down the line to Kravitz Skellia. He puts the ball in the box and Tony Martinez is open. He makes that 1-1. Good football here from Napoli. Just got around the outside of us. And I mean he's not the biggest at centre half and just got out jumped by Tony Martinez. Kim in Jay goes wide to Kravitz Skellier again. Elmas. We've done really well, Vignali. They've hit the post. But we've cleared our lines. Curly and Mitchell have come on then. For Appender and Jenga who have been quite quiet this game. Jenga with Sorry, Appender with that great chance who just skied it over the bar. Not in the best of form today. Malassia though, he's got it. Goes down the line to Elmas. Elmas puts it in the box and Martinez is up, but Ramirez does really well to keep hold of that. Approaching 75 minutes now. It's looking very even. Mitchell goes back to Vignali. Goes down the line to Sadiku. Sadiku turns inside. Finds a pass to Sonny Cola who takes the shot and that just goes high and wide. Hataboa, Soler, Minjay. Clips it down the line. Politana. Sonny Cola does well. But Politana's still got hold of the ball as it's come back out to him. And he hits that on his left foot and that is very close. But I think Ramirez had that covered. Corner now. Mitchell. Come on Como. Good delivery. Headed clear. They've gone. But Cerny Cola sorted that out. They've gone long again. Raspador is in behind. Cerny Cola, can you stop the cross? He's done enough. But it's Fault Politana. It's fine Raspadori. Hataboa. Lapoca. And Ramirez bails us out again. Bogger clips it in to Zelinski, who knocks it down to Pobega. Raspadori, great through ball. Politano is in. And great hands from Ramirez to tip that round the post as Politano managed to get his shot off. Corner now. Headed clear by Buckman. 
Butman's done really well. Had a fantastic season. Cerny Cola. Spendy. Down the line to Alex Blanco. Can he get the ball in the box early? He needs to deliver it now. Takes another touch though. And now it's being blocked. Cerny Cola. Alex Blanco puts it in the box. But it's not good enough. Masengo. Cerny Cola. On his right foot. Can he find a through ball or a shot? And he does shoot. And that's very high. Is the one more chance. But it's looking like it could fall to Napoli. Kim Min Jae. Zelinski, great through ball. Bookman reads it really well. Masengo. Blanco. Finds Sadiku. Clips the ball over the top. But that's read by Solé. Cerny Kola's putting in some very bizarre challenge. But that's gone out for a throw. And only a few seconds left on the clock now. And this could be a great point for Como. And it is... In Naples, Como have grabbed a massive point. Cerny Cola picks up man of the match. A great point against Napoli. And that secured sixth place for us in our first season in Serie A. Little Como punching well above the weight. And next season, we are not only are we staying in Serie A, we are playing European football. This is massive for this club. What a beautiful stadium we have. And we really are building something here at Como. Thanks for joining me, everyone, for joining me in my new series, We Are Como. You're all legends. I'll see you in the next one.